Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and a top 5 video. So in this video I'm going to be counting down my top 5 fantasy swords. Uh, I'd be from movies, books or TV series. I'm going to be counting them down. The 5 swords that I think look the coolest and uh, also were the most memorable uh, according to their, their different uh, uh, shows they were in. Uh, so uh, yeah I will, there will be a couple of them um, from the same universe, but no more than two swords from the same universe. And uh, yeah, let's get started with this. Also, a spoiler alert for I will be revealing some details in their respective shows and movies, so watch out for that. Uh, but um, let's get started, shall we? So, on my fifth spot, I picked Excalibur from the Merlin TV series. Simply because I reminded myself I'd actually looked at it and it looked and, and the blade just looked really cool. Wielded by Arthur here. Uh, got some really nice almost Norse-esque design here with the circle on the bottom. And really nice golden details, which I just think looked and made for a really nice blade. So that's my fifth that's why I deserved the fifth spot on the list. Um next up I actually <laughs> took a sort of my own design, I don't want to brag a lot about it, but I wrote this kind of fantasy novel for a thing in school, and uh, yeah, I decided just to take the sword from that one, because I really like the way it came turned out, so this sword here uh, is called the, Sil Sil the Silver Sword, and is wielded by our main character Jack, and uh, it is like it's 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 the one of, it's the best weapon second only to uh, the burning lance in the series, uh, and uh, you, this eagle head or core corp head I can't or falcon head or just a bird head I can't remember which bird I picked. Um, you can actually pull out and uh, there's a piece of paper in that uh, that he reads in the story and uh, uh, yeah I'm not gonna talk about it a lot because I could talk about it forever but just something I'm really happy with and I decided. I'm pretty happy with it. It's kind of inspired by the one, one, the other, another sword you're gonna be seeing on this list. Um, but um, yeah, that's that's that one. Uh, and then for our fourth spot, I actually picked Narsil. Narsil is the sword uh, wielded by Elendil during the uh, during the War of the Last Alliance in the in the end of the Second Age uh, in the Lord of the Rings universe. And I just really really like the sword. I actually prefer this one uh, for the Andril version because this sword breaks when Isildur the prince cuts it cuts off Sauron's finger. Uh, the sword actually I'm um, oh, sorry Sauron breaks the sword and then Isildur grabs it and uh, cuts off the ring from Sauron's finger um, in the beginning of the first movie which is a really awesome battle sequence by the way. Uh, but I actually like this version, even though it's very similar to the Andoril version that Aragorn gets later in the movies. Uh, I just thought the Narsil version looked a lot cooler, and uh, as you can see, it is it that was the blade that really inspired me uh, with my own with the silver sword. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that one. I just think it looked really cool and really deserves the number the third spot on the list. Next up, we have. Orcrist. Orcrist is a really, really awesome blade, and uh, it is. It was a, is an elven blade um, wielded by Gondolin, or in, an elven king also from the Lord of the Rings universe. Um, but later, actually, Thorin, uh, son of Thrain, son of Thor, king under the mountain, gets his hands on this blade, and uh, there is a really awesome scene in the Battle of Five Armies where Legolas throws the sword into the stomach of an orc, and as the orc falls down the cliff, Thorin grabs the sword out of him, and that's just a really cool scene, and uh, yeah, I actually tried to cut the sword in leg out of a lego piece once, and completely failed, um, but um, yeah, I just really like it, because the design is really sleek, and it's got some really nice wooden detail as well, and uh, yeah, it's an elven sword, so what's to complain, right? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that's that one, and then on my last, my last, um, yeah, on the last, uh, the last one here, I 
it's actually from a book because I didn't have enough space on my desk, as you can see. Um, uh, it is from Game of Thrones, actually, and it is the sword Dark Sister. Dark Sister is oops, uh, the sword. Um, is a uh, Targaryen sword that was used. Uh, that is used early in the in the like the the lore of the uh, the Game of Thrones series. So um, yeah, I just thought the sword looked really 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 cool, and it had an awesome design. Uh, and uh, yeah, with this kind of wavy handle there, beautiful blade. I'm actually going to try to translate the battle here for all of you reading Swedish it's really easy but uh, in the battle over God's Eye I think it's called um, there was a duel between Prince Aemond and uh, Prince Daemon Targaryen and uh, between the two dragons Vagar and Caraxes and it's it was really awesome because Daemon he actually jumped from Caraxes onto Vagar in mid-air and killed Aemon with the sword Dark Sister at the same time both of the dragons crashing down to the water and I just thought I was really awesome and uh, yeah just a really beautiful blade really deserving the number one spot on my list so yeah that is going to be it for this video I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one bye